Before servicing, please make sure to unplug your treadmill. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, take out the four screws holding on the motor cover. The main components of your treadmill are the motor control board, incline motor, and drive motor with speed sensor. Your connections on your motor control board are console cable, speed sensor, incline motor, black motor wire, red motor wire, AC1 power wire, and AC2 power wire. Motor control board replacement. Begin by removing the console cable and cutting the zip tie holding the console cable to the motor control board. Next, remove your speed sensor wire, your incline motor connection, your white and black power wires, along with your red and black motor wires. Finally, remove the two screws holding in the motor control board. Reverse these steps to install your new motor control board and calibrate the machine. Incline motor replacement. On non-folding units, tip the machine on its side. On folding units, fold the running deck to the upright position. Depending on the style, remove the clip and bolt or nut and bolt from the bottom of the incline motor tube, removing it from the elevation rack. On the top bracket of the incline motor, using a 17 mm wrench, remove the nut and bolt. Cut the zip tie and disconnect the incline motor connection. And remove the nut holding the ground wire on. Using a synthetic grease, grease the upper bracket before installing your new incline motor. Connect the incline motor to the motor control board and then secure the ground wire with the nut. Using a synthetic grease, grease the elevation rack before installing your new incline motor.
drive motor replacement. Using a 13 mm socket, remove the nuts and washers holding in the motor bracket. Next, remove the tension bolts from the motor bracket. Using an Allen wrench, turn the rear roller bolts counterclockwise the same number of turns. This will loosen the running belt and the tension on the drive belt, making it easier to remove the drive belt from the motor. Walk the drive belt off the motor pulley. Remove the motor and disconnect the red and black motor wires along with the speed sensor connection. Mark the position of the bolts holding the bracket onto the motor before removing. Remove the motor bracket and pad. On the new motor, install the pad and bracket. Position the bracket so the bolts line up with the marks you made on the bracket before removing. Mount the motor into the machine and reinstall the drive belt. Secure the motor by installing the nuts but not tightening all the way, allowing you to reposition once the tension bolts are installed. Install the tension bolts. When tightening the nuts, keep in mind one is turning clockwise while the other is turning counterclockwise. While tensioning the motor, keep an eye on the motor bracket to ensure it stays straight. One way to do this is by comparing the gaps between the nut and the bracket as seen here. Test the drive belt tension by twisting the belt. If the belt is properly tensioned, you should not be able to turn it more than 45 degrees. Voltage checkpoints. Using a clamp meter, check the voltage coming from your wall outlet. You must have at minimum 120 volts AC. Unplug the power cord from the machine. Check the voltage going to the treadmill as this also must be 120 volts AC.
Unplug the white AC1 and black AC2 wires from the motor control board. Check to ensure you have 120 volts AC here as well. Your clamp meter settings must read volts DC. Remove the black and red motor wires from the motor control board. While spinning the flywheel on the motor, the clamp meter voltage reading should fluctuate. With a fully charged 18 volt battery, connect the black and red wires from the motor to the battery spades. If the motor is good and the battery is fully charged, the running belt should begin moving. With your clamp meter set at amps, clamp the black wire coming from the power switch to the motor control board. With no load on the treadmill and the belt running at 3 miles an hour, your amp reading should be between 3 and 4 amps. With no load at 6 miles per hour, your amp reading should be between 6 and 7.5 amps. Next, repeat these tests, this time adding a load to the treadmill. At 3 miles per hour with a load, your reading should be between 7 and 8 amps. At 6 miles per hour, it should be between 9 and 11 amps. If any of your readings with a load exceed these ranges, replace the deck and belt. To check continuity between the upper and lower boards, test the pins on the back side of the boards directly behind the console cable connections. Refer to the console cable chart found in Online Remedy for proper readings. Power Components Replacement Make sure your machine is unplugged. To replace the breaker, remove the nut on the breaker and disconnect the wires. To replace the power socket, remove the two screws and push the socket through the frame. To replace the power switch, use a flathead screwdriver to push down tabs that hold the switch in place. We recommend you take a picture of the wiring of these components or refer to Online Remedy for wiring diagrams upon installing new components. Tip the unit on its side to remove the screws from the end caps. Using an Allen wrench or Allen socket, remove the bolts from the rear roller. Upon the last few turns, lift the roller so it stays level and does not drop. Remove the roller and replace. With the end caps and rear roller removed, Take a rubber mallet and tap the side rail towards the rear of the machine. Then using your hands, slide the side rails off. Repeat this step on the opposite side. Using a 5mm Allen and a 13mm wrench, remove the 8 deck bolts. Next, lift and slide the running deck out. Front Roller Replacement Using a wrench and allen, remove the nut and bolt from the user right side of the roller.
On the user left side of the roller, using an Allen, remove that bolt. Using a flathead screwdriver and the motor flywheel, walk the drive belt off the roller. Lift the roller and slide out from one side. Reverse these steps to reinstall the new roller. The roller axle on the user right side must be aligned in the center of the bracket. Council parts replacement. Begin by removing the bolts from the top of the council mast. Disconnect the council cable located in the user right council mast. Upper Council Board Replacement. Disconnect the ribbon cables and cables and remove the screws. Council Cable Replacement. Connect the four foot piece of rope or string using electrical tape to the council cable. Tie the other end of the rope or string to the upper right mast. Cut zip ties and disconnect the cable from the motor control board. Pull the cable through the mast until you see the rope. Tape the new cable to the rope, feed it through the bottom of the mast, and use the rope tied at the top of the mast to pull through. If you have any questions, please refer to Online Remedy 24-7 or contact tech support at 877-GO-AFG-55.